On to other news now. Two business persons lost everything in a massive blaze at the Soldier Road Industrial Park overnight. Firefighters were called to battle that fire shortly after 11 p.m. They were able to contain the fire and prevent it from spreading, fortunately. Our DeAndre Williamson was at the scene. File cabinets totally gone. This was a horrific fire. It just totally destroyed everything. Public relations consultant Tanya Smith Cartwright reflecting on what was once the office of Bumper Tech and Bahamas Foam Products. Both companies shared the building that was destroyed by a massive fire on Wednesday evening. Right here, there was like a test that you actually came to and you would be greeted at and then you go through a corridor, go up the stairs to the administrative office, all of that is gone. Firefighters were called to battle the blaze after receiving a report shortly after 11 p.m. Wednesday that the warehouse housing the businesses at Industrial Park was on fire. Head of Fire Services Chief Superintendent Walter Evans says upon arrival they met flames coming from the roof and they quickly got the fire under control, preventing it from spreading to other buildings. He confirmed the entire warehouse was destroyed. This building, as we've indicated, is a metal structure and has sustained severe heat. And uh, there was a portion of the structure which had collapsed, that is the eastern portion. And for the officers, safety officers were able to make an exterior attack. Um, at this point, the cause of the fire has not been determined and an investigation has been launched. There were four emergency units which had responded to the scene of this fire. While checking out this devastating scene following last night's blaze, we also met with Brian Seymour. He's the owner of Bahamas Foam Products. While he declined an on-camera interview with our news team, he told us that his company's insurance is covered and he plans to start rebuilding by January next year. Pumper Tech occupied the old building for the past 10 years and Bahamas Foam was there for approximately six years. The employees are now out of work. There are about 20 people employed at Bumper Tech, and we have to think of, you know, there's going to be a meeting with them, and obviously an assessment period, as I said before, because naturally there's nothing you can do here. You can't report to work, right? You can still, I guess, do your claim adjustments um, because, you know, there's still a tent here. You know, obviously people can come here, but it will not be business as usual for both of these companies. Chief Superintendent Evans told ZNS News that five cars on the inside of the building were destroyed and the total cost of the damage is unknown. For ZNS Network News, I'm DeAndre Williamson.